About one in five Americans say that they are hesitant about getting the shot. That information comes from a recent CBS News poll. That had us wondering, what percentage of people need to be vaccinated to reach herd immunity, and what happens if we don't reach that number? Good question. Jeff Wagner learned the answer is a work in progress. How do you feel knowing that you are vaccinated? Oh, great. Yeah. I feel confident, but I still mask up. I mean, it's a respect thing. I went into the grocery store for the first time in a year yesterday. <gasps> These ladies are two of the 140 million Americans who took a shot in the arm to fight COVID-19. That's about 42% of the country, an achievement in itself, but still far from the lofty goals medical experts are setting. What is that target number for herd immunity? You know what? No one really knows that number. Dr. Michael Osterholm is the director for the Center for Infectious Disease Research and Policy at the University of Minnesota. At this point, many of us believe that uh, that number is close to 100%. Uh, something that probably isn't achievable. A CBS News poll found 40% of people aren't sure if they'll get vaccinated, citing concerns about side effects, wanting to take a wait and see approach, and lack of trust in the government. Is there a number where people can expect things to somewhat feel normal again? There is no one number. Dr. Ulsterholm says the new variants of COVID-19 that spread more easily have changed the number of people needed to be vaccinated to slow transmission. The Minnesota Department of Health agrees with him. However, it did set a target at 80%. And if we have 80% of the population vaccinated and we still have a lot of transmission, we may need to, um, to adapt. But at this point, that's the goal that we've set forth right now. That number could not only slow the spread of the virus, but create hope that life can return to pre-COVID days. What happens if we don't hit 80%? I think we'll have to wait and see where people are at. But the more people that get vaccinated, the less chance we have of transmission. And that's what in the end is going to give us an opportunity for a more normal everyday life. If we hit 60 or if we hit 70, I don't know that that's necessarily going to change the, my approach to what I do. Um, Jeff Wagner. I'm still going to, you know, double mask if I'm going inside somewhere. WCCO 4 News. And access to vaccines is just getting easier. And for that reason, the Minnesota Department of Health says young adults who have been holding off on getting a shot to ensure at risk people get one first no longer have to wait. If you have a good question for Jeff, email him by visiting WCCO.com links.